It is found in just about every medicine cabinet. It is also the source of the newest high gaining popularity. Doctors are using two local overdoses as a proof of this disturbing trend. And new at 5 o'clock, as 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, sometimes the results can turn deadly. Well, I just don't want to feel like in this YouTube video, a woman quitting painkillers explains how she's getting through the withdrawal. I took 10 more like around 8.30. 10 more as in pills like these. It is anti-diarrhea low something. Loperamide is the active ingredient in anti-diarrhea medication. The recommended dosage, about four pills a day, won't cause a high. But some are now taking more, a lot more. Helping withdrawal is one goal, but some just want to get high. It is a concerning trend. We're seeing an increase of cases. UCSD emergency room doctor Chuck O'Connell says he's seen two local cases, including a 28-year-old woman who took a staggering two to 400 pills a day for months. So the patient fainted several times, and while they were on, minor, on the monitor, they showed uh, very abnormal EKG uh, arrhythmias. She stopped taking the pills and eventually recovered, but others have not been as lucky. A just published study lists two recent deaths in New York and a dozen other cases involving deaths and life-threatening irregular heartbeats. As restrictions on narcotics continue to tighten, some experts fear that addicts will start flocking to anti-diarrhea medication, much as some alcoholics turn to mouthwash. I think it's time to someone come in and regulate use and on the terms of massive quantities. Regulation for a new high that can turn high risk in a hurry. Michael Chen, 10 News. The FDA says it is aware of this growing trend. It plans a review. Doctors say it's hard to tell how prevalent the problem is because many emergency room tests don't screen, screen rather, for lopramide.